Former President William Henry Harrison had what odd nickname? Is it Last of the Cocked Hats, His Accidency, or Granny? These are all actual presidential nicknames or terms used for the president. Which one is William Henry Harrison? When he ran for president against Martin Van Buren in 1840, Harrison was 67 years old, which the media thought was old enough to dub him Granny, and he still won. So if you think that people now are old, 67 years old, 67, that was old back then. 31% of you got Granny right, but the rest of you did get eliminated, but that's what the rejoins are for. Most of you have not had to use one yet. Uh, William Henry Harrison was also old Tippecanoe. Tippecanoe and Tyler too. Remember that one? No? You weren't around. None of us were. All right. Of the 69% of you that got eliminated there, we got just about 80% of you right back in. We are on to question number seven now. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. What board game's jingle used to say, it will tie you up in a knot? Is it Twister, Jenga, or Perfection? Which game will tie you up in a knot? Use your logic. Put your logic hat on. The jingle could have said, get ready to throw your back out, or a guaranteed way to smell someone else's feet. But they wouldn't have sold as many copies of Twister that way. Twister is the answer. Pretty much everybody getting that one right. Now, Jenga will make you sweat. That is true. That is like, you're. it's a high-stress situation. You're trying to take that thing and not have the whole tower fall over. I know, I know what that pressure is like because I host this game three days a week. Let's move on to question number eight now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. In baseball, which of the following pitches would be a breaking ball? Is it fastball, curveball, or intentional walk? Which of those is classified as a breaking ball? A breaking ball has movement, often late movement, that tricks the batter, disrupting their rhythm and inducing a swing and a miss. And in its early days, that is exactly why the curveball was banned, because they're tricking people. It was considered dishonest. But thank you, Candy Cummings, for introducing us to the curveball. 63% of you getting it right. Well done. Whole colleges were banning it, saying, we are not. The, the, the men of Harvard will never, never engage in deceit, so we will not throw a curveball. And now... Everybody's trying to throw a curveball. See, look at where we are. Of the 37% of you that got eliminated, about a quarter of you coming back in. Only two questions left in this one. Next one's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here's question number nine. In which decade did the majority of Mad Men take place? Is it the 1760s, the 1860s, or the 1960s? The majority of Mad Men took place in which decade? Don Draper's can't-miss pitches for products like the Kodak Carousel lead him to landing accounts like Howard Johnson's Motels, both of which were huge in the 1960s. The 1960s is the answer, 91% of you. That is 8,505 people who have made it this far and are ready for our final question. First, quick reminder to you. There are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of our live games. One is through the Daily Trivia Challenge. That is the quick, hostless version of our game that you can play on your schedule up to twice per day. Second is by clicking the More Ways to Earn button wherever you find it in the app. Both of them get you SB towards your daily goal. Do your daily tap joy every single day. I repeat, every single day, click that More Ways to Earn button and do your daily tap joy. Check off Daily Discover. Earn SB that are going to pile up over time faster than you think they will finally more than just a stain remover clorox 2 for colors brightens colors over time reveal the true potential of your wardrobe with clorox 2 for colors add clorox 2 for colors to your list of magic receipts then buy any eligible product at any store and get 200 sb when you upload a photo of your receipt as proof of purchase but if you buy two on the same receipt it's always good to have extra because you don't want to you don't want to run out of this stuff it's it's stuff you need in your house. You will get 600 SB. That's a lot of SB coming your way. Speaking of coming your way, we got 8,701 people who got the $1,000 prize potentially coming their way. They're still in it to win it. Over 18,800 of you stuck around to the end, and there's one more bonus SB up for grabs. If you can correctly answer question number 10, here it is. According to Cindy Lauper, who just wants to have fun? Is it girls, trees, or accountants? Who just wants to have fun? Oh, who just wants to have fun? I come home 
in the morning light. My mother says, when you're going to live your life right. Oh, mama dear, we're not the fortunate ones. Because girls just want to have fun. That's right, 8,663 of you just heard me sing along with the rest of you. You knew that answer, and you are splitting our grand prize today. Congratulations to you. That is what I like to see. You are having fun here. Let's meet some of you, shall we? Each of our grand prize winners taking home 12 SB in grand prize money, plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Hey, Johnny Cold Cuts, you win. Congratulations. Star Viking, congratulations. Maybe